ba boom we're streaming I got a window open here so I'll see myself pop up and then we know everything is good to go we get at it and I mean we got to get at it YD news is as deadly as a Fukushima plume plumes and that's a very simple reason looks like my video is gonna pop up here any second there I am hey Dana <laughs> I don't know what you're all saying. Get back to the video, Dana. Okay. So I'm going to assume my sound is fine. Do your, do your, do your, do your. So it's hard to believe it, I know. But Trace over at uh, Disgusting News, I mean uh, D News, has put out another video. Well, of course, you know, can't go letting that be unchallenged now, can we? I mean,. Would that make any sense to anybody that if we just let him get away with it? Slide. What we should do now is when this comes out, everybody download his video, the link's below. And when this story finally breaks, everybody keep uploading his video. The whole freaking planet is going to turn on him. Just do it every day, right? Even though everybody's calling him out now, everybody's freaking out on him. Dino's Trace loves you dummies. That's what he's calling you. He's calling you dummies. Come here, dummies. I tell you, don't worry about the radiation. Don't worry about it. Hi, Nuber Magic. I was just watching your video before I came on here. Anybody don't know Nuber Magic is 2012. The link is below this video. And looks good. I think. I'm oh, just waiting for some comments to pop up. But I'm going to keep going because I'm going to assume. It always takes like two minutes. Hi, Mark. Ketzer. Starlight. I'll just say hi to a few people while we're waiting for everything to be another minute maybe. Hi, and here you, Dana. Hi. Thank you, Stacy Lane. Thanks, Stacy. Hi, Rob. Stetson. I say hi to a few people. Sir Lee. Thank you. Hi, Tracy. May. I got your comments. Tracy left a comment on my video yesterday, I think it was. And I seen it this morning. Because I got so many videos. And it's Tonga Cyclone In. And so I spent all morning hunting down information about Tonga. Cyclone in. Does anybody know why I would spend the entire morning hunting that down? Can anybody even imagine why I would just jump right over to that? Hmm? Can you? Huh? Huh? Well, one of the first links below is about the Philippines. And in the Tonga, they had 287 kilometers an hour winds. The biggest thing they've ever seen. Um, that's quite interesting when we look at the Philippines with 7,000 7, islands and an archipelagos that have been uh, annihilated. 44 provinces totally wiped off the planet. And those 44 provinces had sustained F4 tornado winds. And that's because of a radiated Pacific Ocean. And that's why Dino has got to come out with these pathetic, unbelievably pathetic videos. Don't worry about radiation. I mean, he's going to get throttled. He's, he's going to look like um, Thomas Kelly in the near future. Those cops got off of that today. Unbelievable. They turned his head into a watermelon, and then they tried to blame it on an existing heart condition. I mean, this planet is ready to snap now, but we're working on D News tonight. And uh, what he done, I'm going to play the video here and break it down for everybody, because that is... Uh, we got to put an end to that. We got to put an end to his career. We got to end Trace's career at Discovery Channel. I mean, what what he's doing is, you know, because we go through the headlines every night now for 90 nights. And so for him to come out with that video, they're pretty desperate. They're pretty desperate. And all he's going to reach is the people in the old age homes and the mental institutions, institutions and the prisons. Because that's all they're allowed to watch is stuff like that. And that's where they get most of their viewers to at Discovery Channel and places like uh, Disgusting News or they call themselves D News. Yeah, hi Stacy. Candace, thank you, Candace. Huma, Tr uh, Tracy, Troy, Stephen B. Show, Aqua123. I'm saying hi again, folks. Anybody that's familiar, the comments to the left hand section. Then we're actually live streaming the comments below. The video is re rendered and popped back up. But just to get the facts straight about D News, uh, there was Chernobyl. So that was a massive, uh, they gave iodine in some of the surrounding countries to their citizens because they had no choice. 
and Chernobyl was one third the size of energy reactors at Fukushima and it was a 30% meltdown and so you can do the math on that that would make it nine times bigger but what we're not talking about and what uh, Ivan was here tonight and he ended up getting his ass blocked um, is isotopes when they're radiated they're millions of times when they go through the chain reaction there's millions of times more different gammas, betas and alphas and like uranium with a 4.5 million year isotope uh, the longer the isotope the more powerful it is Ivan was putting information here today that is absolutely devastating when he's supposed to be somebody that uses logic and for him to come and say that and play friends for the last couple of days to everybody and then tonight land on the video and try to say that the isotopes like that another narrative gets out there uh, and we got to put uh, people like that on a list of um, criminals. I mean, they're finished. Do they really think that uh, their future is going to be hunky dory by coming out and ignoring uh, all the information that we got? And, and so a lot of people probably don't know any difference. Let me come out. Oh, we're going to have that little problem. Let me bring that over here. A little bit loudy I know just so I can keep it keep my head up and everything else and we got such a great show tonight such an important show and anybody who's been following this show for a long time most of these headlines you'll probably know uh, but they're so important that we get this out there and that people are who were they're gonna write articles or do videos and we do need more bloggers desperately hi missing sky uh, Newman your comments get spammed all the time but Checks and balances, 89, hi, but yeah, Trace's, we got to end Trace's career. That should be uh, the object of tonight. Was permanently make sure he never escapes. So everybody download that video. And as the story breaks, uh, put Salacious Headlines and his video. And put it out there and saying, you're all stupid. Fukushima is just for dummies. La, la, la. When everybody's raging. And then everybody will turn on that fucker. Excuse the language. My apologies. Forecast map. Uh, I'm going to read a few 5 or 10 headlines for a second. I'm going to come back to Dino's. Forecast map of radioactive clouds threatens U.S. West Coast, March the 16th, 2011. Like, see, Trace, do you think that, uh, I want you to remember something. Whenever you hear iodine tonight, the words iodine-131, remember that uh, reactors are making three of them, and then it makes an iodine-129. Then it makes three of them. And then they make iodine-132, which is uptaked into your thyroid nine times more effectively than the iodine-131. And that the iodine-129 has got a 15 million year half-life before it breaks into another uh, partial isotopes, radioactive isotopes. So it's basically got 150 million years in life. Now, not that that matters because it's such a long time. And that's what Ivan was trying to do tonight was go after the ones with the long isotopes and say that they're the least ones to worry about. I mean, where's the logic in that one? That's how desperate these people really are. I mean, they're desperate. They're here trying that tonight. That's desperation. Uh, I, I've never seen that kind of desperation before. That's amazing to try to equate uranium isotopes as okay. Now... I'm going to get to Trace here in a second, but the forecast map of radioactive clouds show a threat to the U.S. West Coast. Uh, you can go in their models, you can go look at them, simulate a forecast, only accounts for single release event. Yet it covers, this was from the Belgian Institute for Space, uh, March the 15th. And that was basically based off uh, unit number one at Fukushima's uh, Diachi, I'm looking at the microphone, Fukushima's Diachi. What's the name of the shithead's video? It's down below, Serge. Uh, he's a real creature. Everybody got to download that video and put it away in a special folder where you can find it. Uh, but I'll have, I'll, when I go to do this later on, when the story breaks, I'll keep putting him out there all the time. He's finished as far as I'm concerned. That's hideous to do what he's doing. He's doing it on purpose. He showed bananas. You can stand up in a room full of bananas and they won't hurt you. But if you took a little tiny piece of any of the rods of Fukushima or those isotopes that are landed all over America, I'm going to get to, there was 72,000 times worse than Hiroshima, the animosity equivalent of radiation that came out of Fukushima in death plumes and flew over and landed all over America. The buckyballs, and there's links below to the peer review academic studies, 
that the disgusting news from Discovery Channel, they're Discovery Channels, and not so much Trace, even though he's a part of it, because he is a producer, he's an editor. He actually got his education to be a chemist, and he couldn't pull it off. And so he became a PR specialist, right? So that's what he is. He's doing a nuclear PR stunt there now in the hopes that'll save him in the future. He'll get a job at it is. We'll hound him till the end of time. But it's his producer that I will hunt it for day two, hardcore. And um, I'll come back to Tonga after. Independent, why Fukushima is worse than Chernobyl? That was the independent in UK. But they were linked over. Anyway, 72,000 Hiroshima bombs worth of Nagasaki, Nagasaki, Hiroshima, came out. Like, think about that. 72,000. I'm looking at the microphone again. I just keep so pretty. And I know you see a big orange cardboard here, but it's a much deeper, cleaner sound. And unlike uh, D-Link and Trace and his producers, I didn't sell my soul for shitty gear in a Twitter account. And I... Uh, Paid for that in my own pocket. And so I can modify it because I don't have a surround room and I don't have $50,000 of this and $50,000 of that. And I wouldn't sell my soul to do what they're doing. They're not going to have nothing in the near future. We're going to make sure of that. Yeah, Ivan's gone. What a little traitor that one turned out to be. What a coward. He came in our comment section and after a couple of days of playing the game, then all of a sudden he wants to equate... Uranium-234, uranium-235 with bananas. Um, like, someone like that, if they were sitting across the table for me and done something like that, I put a little bit of trust into them. Whatever was on the table, I smashed it off the side of their heads. That's how angry that, that makes me. Because um, we deal in facts. The top nuclear official from the United States raised the possibility of widespread nuclear fallout March 16, 2011, five days after. A massive. Is Fukushima radiation plume highly dispersed before it hits the U.S. West Coast? Well, a study from Norway on March 23, 2011, Hi, Janet, John, showed that um, it didn't, that it came right over and slammed right into the coastline. And that's uranium, because the, think about the reactors. They don't work on... Um, bananas, okay? They work on uranium-234, 235, and they also work on plutoniums, 239s, and then you got, uh, who knows what else they got there, but these are, um, it doesn't, you can't run a reactor on strontium and cesium, even though it's byproducts of the decays of everything else, but it's emblematic that it's there and that you could actually use a Geiger counter if you get your Geiger counter calibrated, and now Dino's come out and said a Geiger counter can't find anything. It can only find some particles. <coughs> Excuse me. But you can actually get your Geiger, you can get Geiger counters that are calibrated to uranium or cesium or plutonium or iodine-129. But see, if you find iodine-131, uh, it's, there's, iodine-129 is right there. And so some of these headlines are staggering. I awake no one Sylvia Bubba Stacy again Troy Richie Mickey and another thing you know you can swim in the oceans full of natural radiation but it's not gonna kill you unless you swim around Fukushima or somewhere in the Pacific it'll knock all the hairs off your body before you can get back out but if I was to take uh, uranium water with 234 235 in it uh, it'll burn the skin right off your flesh if there's a, say if you just had a bad tub and I dropped one of those uh, rods the size of a banana in a bad tub and we dropped Tracy down there, all the skin would burn off him. Every bit of it in a matter of moments, probably nine seconds or something like that. And so you can take that rod out and find uh, millions and billions of Tracys and their producers and drop them in the bad tubs and their skin would burn off with that same rod. But you can fill the bad tub up with bananas or rocks or the stuff that you get a sunburn from, and it can it won't kill you, it won't burn the skin off you, but the sun will burn the skin off you for a different reason, because you have conditioned yourself to not be able to deal with the sun over years. But originally that wasn't an issue, right? We Everything on this planet is acclimated. You know, you don't see deer going around with sunburn, you don't see uh, walruses out there with sunburn, or you don't see, because they came out of the water and sat in the sun all day, they didn't get a sunburn, like on their faces and that. 
humans get is because we put so much stuff on our body, we watch all, uh, wash all the natural uh, oils off our body. And, uh, you know, it's only been 100 years we've been going hardcore the other way where we, we scrub this, all the natural stuff off our body with toxic chemicals. Remember the EPA, when it was um, created in 1981, first hung the shingle outside its door, grandfathered in 65,000 chemicals. That's why you can have 4,000 chemicals legally in a cigarette, even though it's not ethically or morally, but, but you can do it legally because 65,000 chemicals with no environmental human impact studies uh, were grandfathered in by the EPA, right? So they're monsters too, just like Trace and uh, D News and Discovery Channel itself. But how desperate are they to come out with a video to try to equate bananas? Because you can fill a room up with bananas, can't hurt me, but you put a little tiny piece of uranium, <laughs> plutonium here, I won't finish that sentence. I like to take a piece of uranium the size of a banana and work it up Tracy's uh, armpits. Yeah, yeah, his armpits. There you go. That's what I want to do with it. Shove that banana in his armpit. Have him. <laughs> I want to do it with a robot from a couple of miles away, but I still want to do it. After I take him out of the bad tub of uranium and he got no skin left on him. What a creature, eh? So he's out there asserting that the radiation, these plumes that I'm telling you about, is Fukushima Hospital. 40% of the Fukushima visitors show internal expulsion, expo exposure to radiation. Does he really think that that radiation didn't end up over in America when, when there's model after model out there. But I just got a Fukushima radiation plume, March of 29, 2012, contacted North America, California. Does he think that that uranium and plutonium or even the cesium-137 that's got a full life of 300 years just magically disintegrated? Do he think that's not still in his garden? Did he think his children, clothing, or his friends, or his parents, or his loved ones, uh, are not going to get affected by all of that radiation? Does he really think that? No, he's selling his soul. He don't care about his loved ones. He doesn't care about the children every day that he sees that are walking, being contaminated by this. He doesn't even see his point that like Russia evacuated 7,500 communities permanently. He can't conceive that, right? So he's going to say it's not dangerous, it can't be dangerous. Yet Russia evacuated 7,500 communities and 9,000 square miles is still uninhabitable. But uh, that study, the canopy forming kelp is California coastal dosimeters, 131 iodine. Once again, you can't have 131 without iodine 129 because the reactor, reactor is making three iodine 131s, then it makes an iodine 129. And how many iodine 129 isotopes does it take to give you cancer? One. Real bad cancer. These are high rated particles, unlike Ivan in the comment section who befriended us a couple of days ago, shove it up his Uranus, <laughs> Albert. Hi, Candace. Troy. Uh, missing Sky. Tip Poo is... Uh, missing Sky says, Tip Poo is... I know Tip Go, folks, but Tip Poo is God. We are slaves. The employees are beaten, threatened with death for speaking out. Uh, yeah, I read that story. That's a good story. You'll find it right up on top of ENE news page. And you'll find those links below, along with Missing Skies link, folks. And there's always posting lectures like Mama Knox, like uh, Nubu Magic, Miss Milky. Uh, there's a bunch of links down below where people are really thoughtful. Now, that study, uh, March 29, 2012, that's nothing. That's nothing. Japan produced 5,000 studies. 5,000 studies in the first 50 days and never warned their citizens. Russia produced one and evacuated 7,500 communities. That's still permanently uninhabitable because they'll admit to the cesium-137, but they're not going to admit to the uranium or the plutonium, right? No media out there. And people like Trace and their producers. It's more Trace's producer. Trace is just a little uh, sock puppet. He's a little bag licker. That's what he does. That's how he got to where he is. He socks off everything in the office. He's always in the closet on his knees, that guy. He's as far from an independent person as you can imagine. His whole life is about licking boots. That's, his tongue is black from licking boots his entire life. He's an absolutely horrific, disgusting human that shouldn't be on this planet. He truly shouldn't. People like that, that's my opinion, folks, that he shouldn't be on the planet. planet. Because when you're, you're murdering people that trust you by telling a lie, by ignoring all these 
death plumes from the death streams that are circumventing our planet. And they went so far as to show the USA distribution model in that video, you know, that Earth model that I put back in my video a couple of videos back, they actually showed that. That shows the dispersion of your um, CC-137 all over the Northern Hemisphere. And they put that in and then he says bananas right after that. I mean, that is sickness. That is twisted. That is demented. That is a traitor to humanity. That's a person we got to root out. Every time you see him, we, you know, we can't let him continue on uh, indoctrinating our loved ones and our children. People like that are, are uh, parasitic to our society and they feed on the most vulnerable. Uh, that video is still climbing. He recommends his other idiotic video where he has assertions with no facts. What I do is I give you all the facts with the assertions every single time. But he truly is a scary individual. And uh, I'll do 100 videos about him if I got to. But most likely we all download his video. And as this story breaks, we'll keep popping his video out there. And that'll drive everybody mad because they're seeing him so much. He's finished. Right? Make sure you include his name and his Twitter links and everything under the videos when you do it, we'll finish him in the near future. Radiation, small doses, could actually be disproportionately worse. There's 40 peer review studies, right? And by the way, I couldn't do a stream last night. YouTube was doing an update. Upgrade. Because there's more than one of me out there somewhere, I guess. <laughs> I don't think there are anybody else's out there doing what we're doing every night, period. I think we're it. And so who knows what they're doing to us. But it looks like everything is running smooth. I don't see everybody screaming at night. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, Lunar, Ketzer, Stacy, Troy, Sylvia, and Turup. Not just with T. I was, and Lunar. I almost missed you that time. Yum, sprinkle plenty of buckyballs on this Sunday, Ken. Yeah, that's pretty funny. My ropes are ready. Well, you know... When I say that, I'm, I'm referring that we got to um, take back our countries immediately. Everybody has got to, uh, and we can do that by humiliating them with facts, by beating them, them uh, into submission with facts. But ultimately, what they're going to do is they're going to lose the whole bloody game, and there's going to be mass carnage. Because when people, if people wake up in a hurry, and don't realize that there's another narrative out like we got. Um, it can get pretty rough out there all of a sudden. It can get out of control. I mean, the, the Homeland Security can't hold that back. Police can't hold that back. The military can't hold that back. The Americans got 300 million handguns registered. Do you think the police and the TSA 65,000 is going to deal with that? I mean, people are going to go looking for them anyway. they got a grudge. But there's going to be a lot of grudges out there on Troy and Discovery Channel. I'll be making sure of it. Radiation in small doses is actually disproportionately worse. And the children are standing up in radiation all day. And that's cesium, uranium, strontium, 90s, um, the iodine-129s, uranium-234, 235. And I'll, I'll give you some of these numbers coming up. Uh, but that, let me go back to when that was to come out. May the 2nd, 2012. That was uh, New York Times. Matthew Wald. The slower you spread radiation dose, the more effectively it produces cancer and inherited defects. And there's 40 peer review studies like I covered last night. There's a link below about that. Japan is going the very best way in the world for destroying the human race. But Trace is telling people, don't bother looking. Just go about your life. Don't bother uh, protecting your children. Don't bother taking your pets. P protecting your pets. Don't bother protecting your loved ones or worried about your grandparents or your father or your brother or your sisters or your aunts or your uncles or your cousin. Right? He's doing that and what he's doing essentially is murdering people because no one's looking out for him that's aware that are... Because people went and watched that video because they wanted to find out what's going on and he's telling them 78,000 so far tonight not to go look at it. And then he puts bananas in after showing a map of the world with uh, cesium-137 which is never going to go anywhere, right? So that's the brainwashing technique. So we got to find out who that producer is. we got to hang them in one of these shows here real soon. We're, hang, we're hanging him tonight anyway. This is what we're doing with him. He's being hung here tonight. If his parents watch this, he's finished. If his wife watches this, he's finished. If any of his friends or relatives or any of Because, like, um, 
You know, people like that should never, ever, ever. We should, we all need to complain actually to the Discovery Channel about that video. And uh, after this video is over, I'll put a link below to the Discovery Channel. I'll go find the right link. And let's everybody put a complaint into the Discovery Channel about him. And all you say in your complaint is say you can get in a room full of bananas and it's not going to hit you. If you get in any any uh, unit one, two, and three, or even a glass full of the isotopes from those places, it's going to kill you. And you're gonna, you know, it's gonna be a horrible death. And so that you have no right to use the words banana in the video, and you have no right to be doing that because you're a mainstream media. And so that's an outrageous lie. And so we ought to get them fired. We hold them to account. And no matter what happens, when the shit hits the fan, we all post his video repeatedly up on the internet. Let's make sure he never escapes what he's trying to do. And that goes for their producers. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the murder. I'm sick of these creatures doing it for a paycheck, okay? I'm not putting up with it no more. It's, it's not, you know, this is not why they exist. They don't exist to manipulate you and your loved ones and your friends and your families and the vulnerable and the marginalized in society. Is that why they exist? Because that's what they're doing. That's what they're taking advantage of, is people go to them because they got the Discovery brand behind them, and then they use bananas in an equation with uranium-234, 235. I'm telling you right now that, as you know, I'm nothing compared to what's coming. I'm nobody compared to what's coming, to the anger and to the viciousness that's coming if we don't rein this in. And the more they spread those lies, the more anger is going to show up. Because people are going to look back and say, those fuckers lied, right? And that's where the anger is coming from. That's where it came from for me originally. Unbelievable. When I, when I finally looked down the road and realized how big the lies really were, well, I've been here almost 90 nights. And so I have a lot of you <laughs> with me. But I mean, you know, I, it takes a lot of work to get here each night. And I have to do that. Because this is how dangerous and how messed up it really truly is. Radioactive flume to impact the West Coast in a year. That was August of 27, 2013. It's not going away after it hits. So we're talking about airborne particles up to now. Now we're talking about the ocean. They're talking about up to 4%. They're talking about 1,500 buckyballs per cubic meter of air are already detected in California in April. And all along the coastline from Mexico all the way in Seattle where they were ingesting 10 hot particles a day every day in March and April from three melted reactors. We've never seen that on planet Earth before. And that's why Dino's and Trace and the producers keep coming out with these videos because this has never happened on it before and they need to cover it up. They're nuclear PR firms. They're nuclear pro. And they will pay. They will pay 100%. They will never be forgotten, ever. They will never be forgotten in my books anyway. They're marked for life in my books. If they manage to survive their careers over the next few months, I'll be surprised. But they won't be surviving if this all goes to shit because I'll be spreading their information everywhere. All kinds of ghost counts. I'll send them out to left, right, and center if it takes. That's what it takes. But they're, they have to go. I can't handle people like that up there spreading lies like this anymore. Especially, that's twice in a row. We called them out the first time. We gave them every opportunity. Every fucking opportunity. And so we're here again tonight. Because they're murdering people again tonight. And yesterday and tomorrow. And that video doesn't stop murdering. And when they do it again, they're going to recommend everybody come back and watch that video too. So we need to fucking deal with it. Because obviously nobody else will. And so I'll put links below. We complain. Nothing happens because I'll be watching. We, keep, we make sure we, we find other ways to call him out. We hound him on Twitter. He loves his Twitter account. We'll friggin' hound him there. You can go over to the YouTube page now and find his Twitter account. Send him here. Send all of his friends here. Send all of his subscribers here. That's the only way we're ever going to deal with it. Is people get out there and all together we can pick all of these apart in two or three days. Because once this starts going viral, these creatures are going to come out and try to co-opt it. That's what they're up to now. They're trying to build a following so when things start going viral they can co-opt the narrative. And that's what we're doing, is we're building a narrative of common sense and science and factual information and vetted, verified, peer-reviewed academic studies. 
And I don't need my videos full of that stuff. Every video is full of that. I got no choice. I can't even use the words Fox News or it could discredit me. I got to use only peer review, academic, mainstream, top notch material. And a lot of that I can't even use because they're flawed so much that you can only pick the very cream of the crop and they're the better ones anyway because they'll link you to all the, the studies that you can help learn off. And I mean, that's so important. That radioactive plume is already here. The rainstorms are picking up. Hundreds of thousands of miles of rains are picking it up. You know, these isotopes, just a single isotope. You put a single isotope in your fish tank, it'll kill your fish. You can take it out and put it in every fish tank on the planet. That one isotope. They got a long life. And it doesn't get any weaker. Till about 45 billion years later. The first 4.5 billion, it doesn't lose a beat. Not a beat. The longer the isotope, the more intense it is. Ivan was here tonight trying to spread misinformation, and that's part of D News strategy plan a couple of days back. They're sitting around in their little room, and uh, I got all their names. I spent all night last night hunting everything about every one of them down there, but it's all into a package I'm saving for later for my other accounts that I'm going to be starting up to deal with them. Because I can't handle that anymore because too many children and vulnerable people watch their stuff, and that's murder what they're doing, outright, point blank, murder. And so I'll be putting in my complaint tomorrow. Radioactive plume to impact the West Coast one more time in a year and it's not going away after it hits because it's coming out of the reactors, the three melted reactors that we've never had on this planet before that are right on the coastline that have their floors cracked and that the numbers are astronomical. This was August 27, 2013 from a guy who has 70 contracts of 70 nuclear power plants. Los Angeles area, cesium-137 up a thousand times. But DN News, D News, disgusting news from Discovery Channel, the links are below, and Trace and his producers. Oh no, it's fine, you know. It's like bananas. Once again, I can fill a room up with bananas and it can't hurt me. Unless it falls over, crushes me. But if I was to take a piece of any of the rods at Fukushima and each spent fuel pool has 1,535 bundles. Each bundle is 80 rods. And a piece, just these rods are 12 feet long. And if you took a piece the size of a banana, you can kill everybody in Trace there in a matter of a second. You can kill me if it was right here in a matter of a second. I wouldn't finish the sentence. And it would do that for 4.5 billion years. Those isotopes were when they sprayed salt water upon the, the melted cores, well, there was a phenomenon that happened, and there's links below about that, and I'm probably going to get to a few articles about that. But that came across the ocean in a non-salutable form, where it was in a spherical shape with around 60 joints to 180 joints. And what happens is it ingests the uranium particle or plutonium particles, even strontium and cesium particles, which have very long lives, but it gives them a super life. It gives them a super, what we call the buckyballs, and there's a peer review story about that below. And we're talking about one ten thousand of a millionth of a meter sizes, right? A banana, for instance, you know, a banana. Now, they use that in the equation to dis disinform you, to keep you off balance, to make you think that there's nothing to worry about. And so the people that are doing that actually know what they're doing. Trace knows what he's doing. He went to university to be a chemist, okay? He knows what he's doing. and But he went into the PR firm because there was more money there. And so he never really failed it. He just flipped. And then he took the skill of the chemistry and brought it to a creature, a very crappy one, uh, producer for Discovery Channel, which he also is. And he's producing these videos where he's equating bananas with uranium-234 and 235. Uh, the, the Beckwolds. And now he calls it a... He calls it harmless. Don't worry about it. And so if you're, you got your children are vulnerable, they're sick or something like that, you know, you have to learn about this and you have to take it as, as the factual information that it is and get your child out of those high hit areas like California in particular. Everything comes across in the plume and slams into California at its thickest points. California gets the worst of it and it doesn't go away. 
If you go up to your watersheds and test your water, you'll realize how much radiation. And so Geiger counters can't pick up that type of radiations. Those buckyballs, for instance. But you could probably get one from the military if you had a few million dollars and you were cronies with them, like D News is, like Trace is. Don't get me wrong, Trace is a useful idiot. That's all he is. He's a bootlicker, right? He was probably a fluffer for porn movies before he got that job. At least that's what he looks like. There was plutonium detected in. Um, that was on the Contra Costa Times, Susan Abram. Season 137 forecast shows high altitude radiation cloud concentrating over California, western U.S. on April the 12th. So if you can't have the cesium without the iodines, without the iodine 129 with a 50 million year half-life, or without the uranium 234 and 235 with a 4.5 billion year half-life, or the plutonium uh, two. 239 with a 24,000 year half-life. The cesium-137 is just emblematic of these horrendous, hideous, um, unconscionable uh, pollutions and contaminants coming into your communities and you're not being given the chance to avoid them on the days that they spike the most. When your ear from the jet streams right down to the ocean was an invisible snowstorm. So your children are walking to school or you're walking outdoors to get your mail, or going to the shop. You never had an opportunity to avoid it, but you paid your government, you appointed them and elected them to do exactly that, to warn you of such a problem. And they abrogated that responsibility endlessly now. They colluded and collaborated and tried to hide the information, but there's so many peer review studies from different countries around the world, and so many acknowledgements of these peer review studies it's, it's unimaginable and unconscionable when you look at uh, the people that say this is not relevant or not factual or not uh, pertinent. Uh, can, can only be described as monsters and scores of this planet and that we have to seriously consider war crime tribunals like, um, you know, because if not, there's going to be lynchings in the street. I've got no problem with that as long as the video goes up on YouTube so we can all enjoy it. For, you know, in the future, when this finally snaps and everybody loses their minds. Because ultimately, that's what's coming. You can't keep the lie, this lie down. You might be able to keep all the other false flags throughout history down, but you can't keep this one down, what's happening. You can't disguise it. The cancers are going to show up. We all got cancer at the same fucking time. Like, you got to look at the models. In a 20-day 20 20 day period in the Northern Hemisphere, nobody escaped it, including Trace. But you can escape the continuation of living in a really highly contaminated area, first off by getting away from the Pacific Rim coast, all the countries right around the South Pacific and the North Pacific have to be abandoned and will be in the next few years to become an uninhabitable, just like the Philippines are right now, after sustained 200 uh, mile an hour winds, 195 actually, but with gusts of 235 miles per hour, miles per hour tore through 20, uh, 44 provinces. It was a 100-mile wide F4 tornado. If you look up tornadoes, you'll find out that they usually don't get more than a quarter-mile wide and never travel more than six miles and don't last for more than a minute. These things lasted for four hours. They were 100 miles wide, and they were sustained F4 tornadoes, almost an F5. Unimaginable. It shouldn't even be on planet Earth. And we just had another one in Tonga, 287. 287. And I got all the clips. I had to search all morning. And surprisingly, there's nothing out there, only from a very tiny handful of media. Literally nobody told about it. It's only 8,000 people. I suppose they don't matter that they were hit by one of the strongest winds on this planet. I guess that doesn't matter, you see? So in other words, they don't want the Philippines to get related to Tongas. And I'll be doing a video about that uh, tomorrow. Well, I won't be able to do it tomorrow because I'll be in town. Um, that's some fun stuff I got coming up for you. I can't tell you about right now, though. But in the next couple of weeks, it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody from now on. Real show, real good stuff coming up. This is a good show, I know. Uh, but I like I can bring you so much more, and I have the skills and the talent, and I just need to get the right spot. And I think we found that. We'll be looking at it tomorrow, like a little studio. And then we got to get, you know, lights and uh, proper gear, and so we can come out and compete 
and more effectively, more efficiently, more uh, professionally. But I won't change, right? This personality is never going to change, but at least I'll be able to give you, you know, what everybody else is able to uh, give you at a very high quality, very coerced, with lots of good music, original music, and real good footage, real good pictures, and just to make it more enjoyable for everybody so you can really, you know, because I can have it in the context, right? So that's important to me. Because I'm in this all the way now. I can't deal with it anymore. I got no options. I'm at this 24 hours a day trying to debunk myself, postulating, and getting defeated constantly um, when I try to debunk it. And so all I ended up with is just endless factual information. I have no choice now after 90 days but to deal with that. I know it's real all along. I'm just saying I always try to find something with a that I could be wrong about this or it could be wrong about that. And that's the only way I actually get to the bottoms of things. I listen to all the pro-nuclear all the time so I know how to defeat these monsters. These are actual creatures. They know what they're doing. They know what the lies are. They know they're lying and they're doing it for a paycheck. They're doing it hoping they're going to get a pension. And the pensions won't la can't won't be there by the time they get to it if they're around, you know, because this stuff is uh, really dangerous what's going on here. This is not a joke, it's not a game, and we need to deal with it, because we, like, you know, there's 4,800 peer review academic studies every day, folks, and they're locked away at Ellsworth Springer and Wiley's, or every tower is basically the best ones, about 80% of them. Uh, they own 22,000 of the publishing journals on the planet, the most prestigious ones. And for some reason, they get the copyrights on all of our academic peer review studies. And so we can never have solutions to anything as long as that other monsters exist. And that's why they have stuff like Dino's. They're fluff. They're garbage. They're junk. But, right, they're pushed out by all the mainstream media. They are mainstream media. They're the Discovery Channel, right? They're the, the, the spawn of hell of the Discovery Channel, the biggest load of crap on the planet. But if you got a if you got a subscription on subscribe, at least do that. And like I said, I'll put a link below. You can go find it yourself. Put a complaint in about them using bananas in the same equation with uranium two thirty four and two thirty five. Um, it's despicable. It's the lowest form of life. I mean, it truly is. And then I left a comment there, and they said, "Oh yeah, you had a nuke in your plants in your pants, you would blow up." Uh, but they're not even you know they won't even use a rational response. Right, they have to hide away like cowards and chop up this stupid little idiotic video and put it out on the Discovery Network. That's the only way they would ever get views. They could never survive on YouTube as a YouTuber. They don't have any credibility and they certainly don't have any conscience. I know, I know, Dana. This is really harmful, though. It's really hurtful. It's, it's murder through a really big venue. It's very tangible for me. Hi, Sarah Lee. Hi, Sticky Bits. Elizabeth, yeah, it should be fun. It's um, I'm going for broke, you know. I just can't, I can't take this anymore. Fukushima forecast, April the seventh, two thousand eleven. You want to hear Dean News talk about this? You want to hear Discovery Channel talk about that? A large radiation cloud nearing California on April eleventh, and that was the Norwegian Institute for Air Research a study they put out on April 11, 2011. But Dino's want to come out and show you banana. Right? And he knows what he's doing, right? He went to university to be a chemist. He's not stupid. He's not naive. He's not uh, gullible. He might have been a fluffer for porn more stars at one point, but he knows what he's doing in front of that camera. He knows what he's doing when he's editing it, and he does edit it. He is a producer. Uh, I flushed it out last night really good, how much talent he actually got. He's very talented. He decided to go to the dark side because, obviously, he got no friends. He has very little family. And the ones that he does have that might respect him hopefully finds his video and finds it out and corrects him. Hopefully, they lock him up in the closet and don't feed him. Um, you can't blame him. You really couldn't to know that their child is out there murdering people. What a shock that must be for their loved ones to, to find out what their uh, loved ones are really like. That they're actually murderers out there murdering people. Mm. 
We got a scrap going out. Oh, yeah, leave them alone. Just bury them, whatever. Phoenix Custom Prim. Good job getting the links out there. Thank you. Yeah, that had something to do with my comment to lift her, uh, Annie, I think, Dominate. That's kind of funny. Senior scientist Pluma of Fukushima nuclear material from the initial release to reach the U.S. West Coast before August 2014. Those models are based on 137. 137. Now, that's getting picked up by rain clouds and brought in. It's picked by brought up into the troposphere and the atmosphere and it comes in and it rains out for years because it stays up there for years and as it falls it gets brought down in snow and rain but it's more predominant underneath the jet stream itself very predominant around the coastline of the Pacific Rim itself but uh, Fukushima you know the, gar the Pacific Garn comes right across that's where it starts right out in front of Fukushima so whisk it away from the coastline uh, and then it, it stays at the surface mostly and the stuff that does sink is about 2% of it maybe that sinks that comes out of there because you got to think about how the, how the different layers of the ocean is different salinity of the ocean the different temperatures of the different layers of the ocean how the ocean actually works you know I was spent 14 years as a commercial diver I always found that fascinating how you can hitch a ride uh, like the Bay of Fundy with a 50 foot tide exchange I could cover say three kilometers on a tank of air I used to drive the tenders crazy chasing me in the speedboats I mean they were giving her good throttles all the time trying to hang around me because they're just so much so fast um, now this one uh, was ABC Radio Australia uh, on August uh, that I just finished reading you a plume of Fukushima nuclear material from initial releases to reach the US West Coast so it didn't include uraniums, it didn't include the plutoniums, doesn't include any of the other the carcinogens that are radioactive. There's no such thing as safe levels of radioactive. Cesium-137 in California now, uh, N-134 has been rising in samples of strawberries, kale, and grass from Northern California. Because it's not going to go away for 300 years before it radioactively decays. But when you're looking at cesium-137 or the 134, which is not going away because it's from the nuclear fusion itself, uranium-234 and 235 are also there, right? And strontium-90, plutonium. You can't have one without the other. It's like the iodine-131, which disappears in seven days, but it turns into iodine-132, which is nine times e easier to absorb into your thyroid, but it also turns in... Uh, you, you know, every three iodine 131s, you created a iodine 129, which has a 15 million year half life. And so, for Trace to come out and say the things that he's saying, Dean knows the, because that's what the video is about tonight. I mean, we can include a lot of them. And um, yeah, that's stick bit. He doesn't want to argue. He just wants to fight. So. I'll deal with that. Hi, Red Button Studio. Fukushima in Revelations. Uh, I'll pass. Rick Trigger, Tigger, Decent. Uh, pass. Let me deal with this guy here first. Uh, so the question was, hi, Mark. Janet. Yeah, you're not credible, man. I'm giving you credibility. I'm doing the credibility here tonight. I'm telling you all the peer review academic studies. Ivan? Right? The, you know, you put the comments there that uh, radioactive isotopes, the longer they are, the less harmful they were, was a um, misdirection and, and an outrageous fabrication and misrepresentation and a dangerous murdering lie. And so you're just, you know, a manifestation of that other account. We get that, right? We don't really care, but I'm just saying that murderers like you, you know, your IP address, we will find out who you are, who you work for, and we're going to get a list of that. There's people out there 
that are going to do that. You can be sure, right? I don't even have to ask them. There's people out there now who are getting really angry because they know what's going on. Hi, Miss Frill. Hi, David. Hi, Snopes. Janet, Annabeck. Uh, don't mind him, folks. He's a fucking monkey. Gunderson, CCM 134 and 37 detected in South California pollen samples. Does Stick think that's going to go away? Forget him. What about Dino's? Let's keep on Dino's because they're trying to distract you from that. Dino's wants to think, wants you to believe that 137 and 134, yeah, it showed up, but it's gone away, you know? It uh, dissolved or something, right? He's a chemist. He knows better what he's saying. He knows a banana that if you fill up the entire community with bananas, and I live here for the next six years, I won't get any tumors. But if I was to take a little tiny piece of that uranium and lay it right there, I won't get to finish this sentence. It'll kill me. The isotopes from that will kill me. Those isotopes, they can go right around this planet nine million times. And if I ingest it a million, billion years or a billion years from now, it'll kill me. It doesn't lose any energy. The banana is irrelevant. Right? That's the misdirection. That's what Dino's is doing, the producers. We like to use Trace as an example because he used to be a fluffer for porno shows. Uh, apparently he was at it for a long time. In fact, they had to lock him out. He wouldn't go away. He used to, I do it for, I suck your dick for free, man. I just want to be around you guys. That's the way he was. And so, of course, Discovery Channel said, hey, you know, you're a dick sucker. We got a spot for you. Bucky Ball Liquor. How's that sound to you now, Chase? And Chase is like, yeah, Bucky Ball. I'll get the tattoo on my Bucky Ball liquor. Because he's out murdering people. And his parents, I mean, should be ashamed, humiliated, that he that they never killed him at uh, had an abortion. Uh, he should have been an abortion. And the best part of him ran down his old man's leg and his mother's arse, right? Sorry, folks. But when it comes to murderers, that's the reality of it. That guy is a mass murderer by putting out these videos and standing behind him. After we already called him out, we gave him every chance. 90 freaking videos to get smart and learn a few things. To just try. To even pretend that he had half a brain of his own. If he thinks getting up in front of a camera and reading a teleprompter absolves him of his responsibility, he's wrong. When this finally goes to shit... I'm making sure his video goes out all day, every day, for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And so I'm going to make sure everybody loves him to pieces. Everybody will. I'll make sure his links are there, his name's always there. Fuck him. Just like, uh, what's his name? was here earlier. I can't even remember his main name now. So. <laughs> Ivan. Coward. When you find them both together, that's a Fukushima signature. So the cesium 134 and 137 is also considered a C, you know. And so the plumes came over. We got the government models. Even in, even in bootlickers video below from D News, you go into the video, you see that, that chart of the world? That's the U.S.'s map of the cesium 137, see? So that shows you what kind of monster he really is. I mean, that's a monster, folks. He's got a Twitter account. Go over there and stick it. Ask him what does uranium-234 and 235 got to do with that. Ask him why the university got his college degree from, and call up that college, put a complaint in, mail in a complaint, and ask him to take away his, his uh, degree because he's misusing it. He's going and saying he's got an education, but then he's lying with that education. And the university will have to respond. They'll have to put that on his uh, bookmark, and then he won't look so... Well, right now he doesn't look very good to the Discovery, Discovery Channel. Probably going to dump him now anyway. If they stand behind him, that just makes it easier to go after the Discovery Channel. So they might as well fucking fire that prick. Uh, we see radiation from Fukushima in the soil in Southern California, January 5th, 2014. Especially in the desert regions. This was a da disaster awareness, preparedness, and planning news, views, and alerts, December 8th. Um, director of the Office of the Public Health Preparedness at the Boston Public Hospital. Uh, Southern California had 2,500 Beckwolds of iodine-131 in the seaweed, over 500 times higher than 500% higher than other tests in the U.S. and Canada, apparently, which I don't believe. But 
The iodine, 2,500 becquels of iodine 131 in the seaweed meant every three iodine 131s, there's a uranium, or iodine 129. And that's got a 15 million year half life. And it's always times 10. So iodine with a seven year life breaks down in iodine 132. And that's absorbed into your thyroid nine times more effectively. Very frightening. That's very frightening stuff. Radioactive iodine 131 in the rainwater samples near San Francisco, 18,000% above uh, any what they call acceptable levels, but they keep raising that because there's more radiation, right? Dino should do a study on why they keep raising uh, levels of radiation. And they'll probably try to like, relate it to some natural radioactive isotope like uh, radon. And radon, of course, you won't get those readings outdoors. You might get it in the basement of a very old house, if they had one, in the cellar, the old cabbage and potato and carrot cellars used to have in the old houses. You might find it in something like that because of the rocks they use to build uh, the basement because you get floods there. Uh, but you won't find it on a beach or something like that in any high counts of radon. Uh, and it's got nothing to do with this equation. It's another misdirection like bananas. Hi Sylvia, Missing Sky, Dominic, Stacey Lane, Nubu, Lunar, Kins, and I was reading through all the comments the last couple of days because I couldn't do a video last night because Google was down for a change. Uh, banana radiation, ain't nobody got time for that, yeah. Evil Knievels, all business owners should have to personally clean up the waste from their businesses. Yeah, and then we hang them, right? my opinion anyway I don't care what happens as long as we have a couple of good old hangings in the future and you put it up on YouTube so we can all enjoy it uh, New York Times contributor confirms California rainwater is 181 times above the drinking standards for iodine 131 well reactors are made of uranium plutonium so if the iodine is there the buckyballs and the links are below to the review studies are also there and all these headlines, you can Google them. It's not very hard. I don't leave uh, the gate open to be attacked. I cover all bases um, because that could be used as a distraction and just another way to bludgeon the conversation when it's not even relevant. So I always try to come up with the best possible imaginary stuff. University of California, Berkeley, Department of Nuclear Engineers. Uh, 18,000 times what federal drinking water level. So all the cesium, that's there, uranium, plutonium. Did they, do, do, do Dinos really think that went away? Do they think that's magically just going to disappear uh, because they said it so? And because they, they never even bothered using any facts? Yet they're supposed to be Discovery Channel. And they think they can come out and assert that. And it's more about the headline on all the blogs. And then so people subconsciously brainwashed. They don't want to read it, but they subconsciously put that headline into their heads, right? And they manipulate children and vulnerable people and get them to stay in dangerous areas where they'll die and they'll have to liquidate their assets because Tracy's a fucking monster. And Discovery Channel producers, in particular, are hideous creatures, are sick, demented, malicious, manipulative, croc, you know... Um, I don't want to say it, you know, like during a stream, but I'm not going to say it. Caught myself again. I'm getting better at this. Strawberry mushrooms with cesium-137 found in Northern California. Do you think that cesium-137 with a full life of 300 years managed to just disappear when it was randomly spread and, and heavily spread throughout your entire country? Particularly the heavy stuff is California and the west coast of America and Canada. Um, like the entire Pacific Rim. Look at Tonga today, got uh, 200, that story that I found, uh, uh, that Tracy May put a link there, and I found all these stories today. I finally got enough together of major headlines from the dates where they were telling the forecast all on the same day, and they were all 287 kilometers an hour sustained. And so I got those uh, video clips, and I'll be putting that into a video like I did with the Philippines, Carnage. Uh, we're still waiting for footage to come out of that place. Some did come out, but they were annihilated. Uh, that was pretty heartbreaking this morning to watch all of that. 
it was uh, really disturbing to see this has happened again after the Philippines. Uh, 44,000 or 44 provinces hammered once again for four hours by an F4 tornado that's 100 miles wide. Oi. Unbelievable that that exists on our planet. That's unbelievable carnage. Yeah, and by the way, you know, you, uh, you can't get into building one, two, three, or four for a couple of hundred years. You just can't do it. You can take great big cranes and lay shelters over them to try to catch some of the plumes coming out of those melted cores, but you can't never walk in those buildings. You can never get inside of those buildings. There is nothing where electronics can fit inside of those buildings. It's so much radiation that it'll all die within 20 minutes or an hour. And you can, you know, it's radiated, you have to put it on a nuclear, because the metal becomes radiated, it becomes its own radiation. It absorbs so many neutrons and x-rays um, that is given off the gammas, the betas, and the alphas all on its own. Uh, that's the problem with radiation, that's what makes it so hideous, is your earth becomes radiated in California and Canada, west coast, and it radiates, right, it, create, it becomes its own machine its own nuclear engine. And because we introduced the sulfur, the buckyballs, the urethal, the spherical uh, balls with the uranium, plutonium as a nuclear, the, these times, uh, these keep getting liberated and they suspend close to the ground where children and pets are playing. It's, it's really bad. Uh, we've never seen nothing like this. None of these isotopes are indigenous to the planet Earth through man-made weaponized isotopes that we don't even need. Uh, we have no use for only for the military industrial mass murdering machine. And, you know, we got to take into consideration that they had they hid this away, same as Ivan was here tonight for the last couple of nights playing the game, but tonight he came in and tried to equate long-life isotopes with harmless isotopes and the opposite for the harmless isotopes as being the harmful ones. Uh, is an utter betrayal and you know we'll see lots of that I've seen lots of that over the last years but I know for a lot of you people who try to put a bit of trust in everybody that shows up and give them a fair chance are disappointed I've seen that and that's why I went in and done the things I've done uh, and that's another betrayal that five or six items in the food chain sampling test have radioactive particles from the cesium-137 that was found in northern uh, strawberries and mushrooms and that was a study done by uh, University of California, Berkeley's Department of Nuclear Engineering. Six items were tested. Spinach, strawberries, uh, topsoil, grass, mushrooms, blah, back rolls, about a kilogram. It's frightening that on April 4, 2011, not even a month after, has all of California under radiation threat from April 6 and 7. shows levels as high as in Japan. As high as in Japan. 300,000... Beckwolves per square meter. So if you let your child stand up there, there's a dose of can cancer. You let your child stand up here to guarantee the dose of cancer. If you let your child live in those environments, your you know your child is going to be, grow up with all kinds of issues, health problems. If he's you know lucky, if it doesn't kill him, hardcore because this these are high, are high betas and gammas. Uh, when because they were, everything that goes in the chain reaction is a couple of million times more deadly. The gammas, the betas, the alphas, the x-rays, all becomes extraordinarily more uh, changed because they went through the chain reaction. Same as the spent fuel pools that used to be on those buildings that are missing. They had 122,000 rods. One rod will kill all the mammals on the planet after it kills all the humans. There's 122,000 that were aerosoled in a couple of those ponds. That's un that's unbelievable. It's unbelievable that, you know, like I told you earlier, 70,000 Nagasaki Hiroshima bombs worth of radiation. Well, uh, 700 tons, uh, Japanese, a Japanese physicist at a Hamburg conference had uh, calculated that it was the animosity equivalent of of uh, 44,000 Nagasaki bombs for just 700 uh, tons of uranium-238, which is left over, and that's, you know, the other part of the equation that we haven't really touched very much here is that this weaponized uh, enhancement facility, it's a weaponized military-industrial complex, the byproduct is making power because it needs a million gallons a minute just to cool the reactors they're using to make the weaponized isotopes. That's what this is all about. 
The isotopes we had 50 years ago were fine for making power. We never needed to get any more deadlier than that. We certainly didn't need the MOX fuel. That's 2 million times more deadly than any other reactor on the planet. That makes it 18 times worse than Chernobyl. 18 times worse than, million times worse than Chernobyl. And that's sending out death plumes and radiation plumes even now. But for that burned intently. So there was that's what a lot of this radiation we're talking about that the entire coastlines are polluted, but it's still hemorrhaging out into the ocean every day and filling up the Pacific Ocean for a thousand and forty five days now, I think it is. But it's still filling up the Pacific Ocean with minimum uh mid at four hundred tons of highly radioactive uh water that had ran over the hot coriums and picked up massive amounts of these unimaginable because it's splitting the atoms at a, a phenomenal rate in that chain reaction of the coriums. So as all these isotopes are getting whisked out into the ocean and they never stop putting out energy. They never stop putting out energy, right? Every second on the second, they could be putting out 500 Beckwells and take out the Beckwell as enough energy to flip over a grain of sand. And uh, while I'm here, I better come up. Hi, Red Button Studio, Sergeant New York, Suna. 44,000 Nagasaki bombs for 700 tons, yeah? And so, hi, Mom and Ox. And so that's a lot, Elizabeth Lunar. Uh, one hour and six minutes. I guess we'll shut it down here. Uh, I didn't realize it was going that long. So that's a pretty good beat in the night. Nubra Magic got another video out. Uh, you'll find links below to his site, folks. Um, once again, I'll end on that last one here. Latest forecast is all of California on a radiation threat. April 6, 2 to 7. Go look it up. Published April the 4th, 2011, the Norwegian Institute for Air Research, or NILU. Uh, these are, all this stuff here tonight is vetted, is, um, a lot of this is course peer review studies, where other academics have reviewed it, or they have used the, the models. And all of the models that were used were really underestimating models. In other words, they never included the 400 tons a day, uh, there's links below the videos to just endless, uh, important, pertinent information. And we stuck it to the creatures that are murdering people tonight, so we should all feel good about it. I think we should all give ourselves a pat on the back. It looks like Google let everybody chat away pretty good tonight. They done an update last night. I couldn't stream. And then I fell asleep. I was going to get up and shoot and stream later just because I wanted to tear them apart last night. I wanted to do this last night. And I couldn't, because Google said you can't. And I'm like, eh, I want to do it now. And uh, what really happened was this morning, a friend of mine come by and I showed him the video. And he's like, getting Dana, getting Dana, getting, getting Dana, getting. And I said, yeah, I'm getting. And I already had it typed out from last night. I had everything typed out last night, ready to go. <laughs> I was like, because I can't stand murderers. I can't stand mass murderers even more. And the producers... And Trey or Tracy Redder from D News, uh, and D News themselves, you know, they're not putting out anything that's benefiting society. They're not putting out anything that benefits anybody. They're a PR firm. All of them got their educations with the thought of working for public relation, and they will sell their souls to get their job done. They already murdered their loved ones. Don't be surprised what else they will do, folks. Don't be surprised. Thanks, Marcus. Thanks, Sylvia. Elizabeth, Janet, Newman, Stephen B. Thank you. Bananamus. We are Legion. We are the Fukushima Hounds. And we are coming for you next. If you get in our bad way. And once again, hour and nine minutes. It was a long stream tonight. I could have went easy another half an hour, an hour, uh, but I'm not going to. But it's that easy. I had that much energy when it comes to stuff like uh, murderers from D News, like Trace, and like his producers in particular, and like that corporation itself. And the fact that they've done it to their own, you know, we have to come out and set things right. And we've certainly done that tonight. And we'll be back tomorrow night unless Google fucks with us. <laughs> but I'm magic.